So in this video, I wanted to walk you guys through the six organizational things that have really been helping us in our homeschool. All right, so I hope it's not too dark in here, but this is a closet that's in my homeschool room. And behind this closet is all of our supplies. And what I love about it is that everything is in a clear bin so that I can see everything that we have, but it's not necessarily in my face 24 seven. So I don't have to deal with that visual clutter. So I can come in here and see, okay, we've got that much glue, we've got that many markers and see, get an overall picture of what we need and what is missing. Um, I also love the fact that I can see all of our paper and I know where everything, I know how much of everything that we have. So one of the organizational tips that I would say is to store your supplies in clear bins. These are just shoe boxes and it just helps to be able to see all of your supplies so that you know what you have and what you don't have. Another organizational thing that has been working so well is to store all my, it's not in order right now, but to store all my kiddos um, teacher's manuals in separate holders so that when it's time for me to work with that particular student, I can literally just grab the um, magazine holder that has all of their teacher's manuals in them. And so there's not looking around and going through everybody's teacher's manuals and stuff like that. Everything is all together for that student and it just helps to keep things moving. So this has been working out perfect. So the next thing I wanted to show you is how we store their current curriculum that they are going through in these um, bins, in these Sterilite bins. Um, it has been working out so well. We don't necessarily use the top for every student. Like my daughter, we use the top for some of her note cards. Um, but I'll, sh that, I'll show you how we organize their school supplies. But I just love the fact that all of their schoolwork is housed in here and they can just come and grab anything that they're working on because they are macro organizers and macro cleaners. And so if they're able to just dump all their schoolwork in one area, it's more um, we're better able to keep things clean and keep things all together and keep things managed well. When it comes to school supplies, everybody has a school supply um, what do you call this? Pencil holder is, is already broken, but <laughs> I got it from the dollar store. So everybody has a school supply pencil holder and in there they have a pencil sharpener. They have, um, their dry erase marker. They have a dry eraser, glue, crayons, and um, they're supposed to have a pencil, but his pencil is not in here, but he's also supposed to have a pencil in here and a ruler. So whatever supplies that they need, they easily have on hand inside of their bin ready to go. So this is my fourth graders bin and it's pretty much the same thing. You'll see all of her school things are housed in here. She has a pencil pouch as well. Um, and does she have a pencil? Yes, she has a pencil. But all of her school supplies, if she needs it, she's she's mobile. She can work on the couch or on the table or wherever. It's all contained in here. The way that I have them doing readers this year is that each child gets a book basket with their assigned readers in here. And my two oldest are using um, Not Consumes reading journals and that allows them to use any book that they can pick up and do the summary or the reading journal with. It's not to, it's not for a specific book. And so it allows them the flexibility to be able to choose whichever book they want. And so they come here, they pull out their book basket and they're able to choose whichever book they want to read based off of the title or the, um, the description or whatever they want. And then they choose a book and they read it and they do their summary. This also has their, um, Matthew C DVDs. I keep it in this ba these baskets as well. Now with my two younger ones, they have books um, in here that they can either read on their own or 
um, they have books that I can read to them. Oh, that's another way that we organize their readers. So we have found that in addition to um, their individual school supply boxes, they also need um, school supplies that are just like accessible through outside of homeschooling or even during homeschooling that they can just grab that is at the table and ready to go. So a communal type of school supplies area just because um, sometimes we're just at the table and I don't allow markers and stuff in their separate school supply bin because then markers get spread all throughout my house and then you get things like this. That's right y'all markers all over my wall. <laughs> so rather than dealing with that, we use markers at the table all together and they live here. So that has helped and paint. Paint is another big one. So that lives on this rack. If you're finding this video to be informative, don't forget to hit the like button because that really helps for YouTube to show this video to more homeschooling mamas. Now, I couldn't do an organizational video without talking about my three-wheeled cart. Now, my three-wheeled cart houses all of our group things that we do all together. So you'll see our morning menus, our history bin, our Bible, our um, science, all of our group subjects are housed on our three-wheel cart and easily accessible. And there have been years that all I've had is a three-wheel cart. So I am a huge like proponent of organizing using the three-wheel cart, especially the big one like this one that you get at Michael's. So I have two, I have my big one and my smaller one. And this one is more for my littles and the activities that I do with them. So um, yeah, that's what I house on this cart. So you see all my, our pal stuff down there and a couple of our um, younger um, Bible reading resources for littles. And my daughter's draw right now is there. All right, so I wanted to take you through our um, bookshelf a little bit so over here I tried to use these bins these magazine holders the harder ones to organize books that were not exactly series now things that are series you'll find like stacked up or the kiddos will find stacked up all together inside of a bookshelf um, or kind of like this next to a, a bin um, so that was like one thing that we did Another thing that you'll see on my bookshelf, and I don't know if this is like an organizational thing is, but you'll see a lot of like empty spaces just because I wanted it to be visually pleasing to my kids and not overwhelming. So it, there's a lot of emptiness. I tried. <laughs> um, so I also organized in like categories. So this is all science. So they can come here and find all like science encyclopedias and stuff like that. And like, this is all history. So they'll come over here and can find all the like history things and stuff like that. Um, what else? Oh, these, uh, every single last one of our baskets are labeled so that they know what's inside but for the most part this is not like their area like they're not really into this um like i house like all of our like um math that i'm not currently using or curriculum that we aren't currently using but we plan on using for this year so like they're i don't know why my camera's not focusing but like their language arts um the units that they're not on right now those are housed inside of the basket for that particular grade so you'll see my future pre-case pre-kers things future first graders things and my fourth and seventh graders things are in here the only baskets that are really used by the kids are these two down here which is where they will books that my littles because my littles organizing on the shelf is really hard for them even to put it inside of these so 
they need macro organization. And so I put all of their board books like in here so they can just come and dump it and grab it as needed. And like all of their like read to me books is what I call it, but it's like books that they want us to read to them. The hardback books and stuff are in here. So it's macroly organized. So if I tell them to clean it up, they can just dump it in there. When it comes to organization, it's a lot of trial and error. It's a lot of figuring out what, what works for your kiddos and what works for you and giving it a try and seeing if you actually stick with it. And so I hope this video was helpful to give you guys some tips. Let me know in the comments what are your favorite organizational hacks at, when it comes to your homeschool material. And until next time. Bye, y'all.